attack side here, where he's less likely to be dominant with the operator using those movement abilities like crazy. We'll see them now. Again, it's a slow start to the round. Just teasing. This is a big flash. push down mid. Oh, hello, yep. Certainly is. QCK. Hold that crossfire. I guess what? Sadak's going to be remaining there, at least for a moment. But now the call is made. Themselves into the A site. Clear it out with the boom box. It's not going to clear less. And he's inside the smoke, just dominating the angle. Here he is, one bullet left in the chamber, but no more contestion. <laughs> A ceasefire called between Aspas and Les. Back away and call their ground here, but this is really fast onto the retake. Dog Trailblazer started all connecting. They wrapped all the way around and they were none the wiser. Mazzino, so much you can do here, son. Even with the pull here, half of the defuse cuts it away, but they know exactly where he is and the bullets will do the job. A lovely pistol round from Loud there. The reaction to walk down mid after Leviathan take ramp control, pretty perfect. You look at the loud composition, right? We know how Levs is going to play. You do yours. But loud's comp on defense still actually needs to walk push out of areas or to force fights because they don't have that Sova. Uh, sorry, they don't have the Cypher to be able to give them constant information around the map with trips. Passive map control. Yeah. The passive information is just so powerful with the, with the Cypher, and neither team have that. So both teams are going to want to fight areas more aggressively, and specifically for Loud, trying to push QCK into aggressive angles with Initiator Utility. Pretty cool start to get them up onto the angle here for Lev. You're on QCK, because he's at a slide-off angle. Got the nade in his hands. Lots of targets. We'd love to grab him as well, building up some of these ults. As soon as the first wave of utils used, oh, that was a stun. paranoia too. So, okay, stun, paranoia, nade. Great All combo. comboed up. Loud are going to be using those around the map to put pressure onto Leviathan whenever they try to take map control. And with this composition, often the areas <laughs> that you're fighting over somewhat obvious because Com is going to often be using the dog to indicate which areas of the map they're going towards. The danger in this round, circumnavigated, isn't it? Certainly should be, unless Aspas can top some heads. Uh, it's going to be caught. Oh, wow. Even the business, Mazzino. Now, Mazzino was shooting bodies map one. <laughs> but, I mean, louder letting them know here. They're getting personal, maybe? Possibly. There's not really too much of a rivalry, as far as I'm aware, between these two uh, teams. Like I said, Loud have only played against Leviathan twice. Both of those were two zeros in favor of Loud. Bind was the first time where King's actually been, been able to IGL a team to success against Sadak. So that's a big win on the board for Lev early. Slow and spread out here for Lev. Their attack side default. You see that Mazzino's got that star down in B main. That's great if there's some kind of aggression, but it's also really good as a pullback smoke just to deny the one way it's power. Sadak is so deep into B-Main as well. Team Edit is back here. Pop flash. Denied with the info. Mazzino taking another peek of it. His job is done. Really to contain that one, Kavazina has to be cleared up. Has to be cleared up. What? There's no way. Is that man? Just slips out on six health. The heals coming through from both teams. The kill's a bit more important. We're seeing now King looking to fight an aggressive kind of lurk position over towards a ramp. And less than two he's are clearing out King's area at the same time as Lev takes some mid control. Difficult to know which is actually going to find value first. Calls being made. There were 40 seconds here. Less than two he's could get pinched here really easily. And King is they out of danger this. now. They have to hit it, surely. Dropping down with the ropes on top. Flash through. Good connection. Great one at that. Left. Kawazine caught up, but guess what? There's players still at ramp. Maintaining control of this one. Everybody straight to the site. It's going to put Loud in a good position to refight for that heaven Fight control. Planted. But they've still got Mazzino. Super late behind. Insurance policy. Com is not aware. Wiser. They have not no aware. idea that there were players over towards ramps. They'll be thinking to themselves, why didn't those guys shoot earlier? 
They just hid on ramp. Right from the back here, Mazzino finally lurking and reveals his hand. Now, I don't believe he's got any stars for the spike here, so still shut to him down. Flatline, close to the corner, that's Aspas. He's hoping that somebody just wades right into his sight line. The time. Up to the side, yeah, the time, patience! Ooh. Really One holding it with the trigger remaining. disciplining. That crossfire setup is just elite. Two years. You can't work with that now. It's ticking far too fast. Got to give this one up. Maybe he can take it a gun away. Yes, he can. But still. I mean, I would consider that a great bonus round for Loud. Yes, yeah, so Levy Yatan put one on the board. But look at the economy that they're working with now. It's going to be light armor with a rifle onto everybody. Yeah. And some people might not even be able to afford full utility here. Yeah, look at Com. When we come back in, he's only able to afford one flash. So even though Loud are not able to pick up the round, they've accomplished some level of their goal. Com has actually gone with a Bulldog here just so that he can afford all of that utility. And Aspas is only working with the Guardian. Early round, stun, B main control, Two trying to punish Tui's. I mean, there's nothing behind that at all, is there? Right just calls their bluff. Yeah, no real threat. I mean, still locking down that B main angle. Hasn't been pushed back. I think Loud, I've got one of the best callers in the game on defense. I mean, Sadak is so phenomenal at making these adjustments on the defense side of maps. And you see his game plan at the start here. They're flushing Ooh. King out with the dog, but King finds less. Might to be taken here. Frout. Okay, backing away. Satchel's <laughs> to disengage. Yeah, they're trying to have King. I mean, he's calling for them to rotate back through mid here. Apply some of that extra pressure, pressure as well. He's put these players all the way to him, like you said, this hunting him down. I mean, they've got players in sewers. Crossfire set up, QCK and Gawazina here, right behind them. They might be able to just catch us. Yes, they can. Wasn't played to patiently here, but QCK takes what he's given. And King's like a trapped animal on A. Yeah. I think, guys, please, I don't have the spike. Leave me alone. <laughs> he's corralled into the corner, finally. Spike planted. They're going to try and set themselves up here. They need to deal with King. I mean, he is becoming a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, and he's going to take tons of time off the clock. And that's one of the problems that Loud had in the previous round. Yes. Oh, my God. Footstep. Sarak, Sarak, he's like, please, just swing into me, man. I need to play with the rest of my team. And finally, okay, deals with him. But that has more time off the clock. And now the fight to be taken. Stun. It did connect. Lev have already claimed two of them. Despite those weaker guns, drop down for main Aspas. Nasty shot. He might just say, I mean, King potentially single-handedly won this round for them. I mean, Sarak, you can't go for it now. Back away. Rifle has to be saved. Holding on for a little bit too long there. But genuinely, I mean, King, he was just causing a distraction of a lifetime. Yeah, and that's the second round in a row now that he's been able to find that aggressive lurk into A. He knows that Loud are fighting over heaven and ramp control, and they're not putting anybody as a hard anchor on the site. He also knows that there's no cipher. I mean, that one's a given. <laughs> but but the, what that means is there's no trip that he has to break. No way that Loud know the timing that he's taken to be able to get into A. So Loud are now going to have to swap up their defense setup. Guys. It's a blessing to be alive. <laughs> yeah, it's a pleasure to be alive, is it? So look, Loud now making the adjustment. <laughs> Bonk the shot at the start of the round. But Kawanzin is hard anchoring A. And King's like, all right, I did it twice. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> He's holding so far back. He's miles away. And he's actually going to potentially bait the push. Coming out of Sadak and QCK. And King oh! is tearing them to pieces. Yeah, it's a half by but impressive nevertheless. Because again, the read is just so immaculate from yeah. King. Lev actually struggled a ton with dealing with 100 Thieves. And yeah, it was a completely different composition. But it was because 100 Thieves were fighting them so hard at the oh. start of the rounds. I don't think this is doable, though. <sighs> God. I mean, it shouldn't be doable. Tom was falling asleep at the wheel ever so slightly. Should just be economical damage. That's what less time's in for. And King's aim is looking so much sharper than it was in the game against 100 Thieves, too. Yeah. I mean, King was, like, changing his crosshair halfway through the game just to try and get his aim back on form. <laughs> and now, he's just tapping people with the Phantom. Whatever works. Absolutely. 
Now, I think, it's, I think it still is relevant a little bit, though, to compare and contrast the, the way that Lev is playing. Because Loud want to do the same thing that 100 Thieves did, where they fight them on defense. They've got a comp that wants to catch Leviathan into the breach utility, flash them, attack them. But instead, King's finding these perfect moments to bait it out or bypass it. And I think Loud, again, have got to try and hold somebody in a hard anchor position A, just in case King goes for that aggro look. That's a big problem. It's Loud comp missing the fact that in the past they were running it. The double duelist, they could build Aspas with the operator on those deep angles. Don't really have the answer to that this time, two years. Gotta respect them. Just a jump spot for info, so he knows. Man, there's Flash. Round to the side of the pillar. I think shake with the util. Kalanzine and QCK were hard anchoring A at the start of the round, and that makes spike. mid and B a little weaker, right? Because those players are going to be so much further away. So Leviathan are pressuring in that kind of direction. Now they call a bit of a freeze in the mid round, trying to figure out, have they pulled rotates? Is there a possibility that some area of the map's opened up and the spike starts traveling over to A? Is this going to be some kind of big elaborate fake with the cosmic divide? King has been known to call. Yeah, it looks pretty like excellent it. stuff. I mean, the players are set up in position. Two into main, but a spike nowhere near. You are divided. Four, but here's the Cosmic Divide. Trailblazer. Star into the back. It really does feel like it's going to be that B hit, but in front of the wall, that's Sada. <laughs> He's gone. Didn't stand a chance. And the rest are left. They strike them right where it hurts. The peak for reinformation. And now A site entirely opened up. Two years. Get his one. But as the last player alive, he just doesn't know where Com is. He has no information about where the, where the Leviathan players are on A. This is a no-go. Yeah. What a read from you, Josh, as well. I mean, okay, guns removed. Plenty of money to buy for Lev as well. They're perfectly willing to hunt this out. <laughs> now, the big problem for Loud in this round, though, wasn't just the fake. It's that Kawanzin and QCK are there looking for information a ramp. And you might think to yourself, well, they have tons of utility to use. They should actually be able to take a fire on A-Ramp. But they don't know the timing. These guys are contacting forwards. Kamanzin can't just randomly start flashing around the map. Or I guess he can, but you'd have to have a, a sick read for it not just to be wasted utility. So, the Game utility advantage that Loud has with Kamanzin and Sadak playing double initiator is neutralized when Lev are running fake plays or contact plays like that. Because Loud just can't find the timing. God, lucky to be alive. And yeah, you're seeing that evidence now. Definitely building up that these sky compositions looking a bit aged, the changes. It's that mid-round information when you're defensive sides. So you just, you lack it so much unless you post somebody up onto a deep angle. And Loud are trying to get that mid-round information by double pushing, by having, you know, people jiggle peek. I mean, now they're using the dog to reclear B main. They know that it's probably headed towards A. There's no stack of players waiting, and the guns aren't good for loud. Sadak is booking his way over here. Out of charges. With the Bucky. Spot less. Let's the Molly rip close. Kawazin. Bucky gaming occurring right now. TP times. You committed that. Oh, no. You have a lab. He's sick on the line. What is going on? That is ridiculous. Still. King, <laughs> one hell of a time in the take with QCK left. nade in his hands. Less than 30 seconds left now, but the players, surely they can't make something of this. Still got the full containment onto this side. In fact, a rifle in the hands of Sadak. Do you want to call for the cancel of the pivot? They don't know. They're really just moving around. Heads on a swivel on either side, either direction. They haven't cleared this player. How the hell they made the call? Wait, surely this is too late. Melon's yes. moment maybe Ten potentially occurring. No, surely they've got enough. They clear up the stragglers. Barely, they do. barely with two seconds left. Knowing that timing so precisely. Oh my, what is that pit? I mean, pitting in the 3v2 when you have people ready to collect the rotators as well. It is a heavy investment from Lev. I mean, what is this? Yeah, a, lot to, a lot to break down here. What is that? Look forward to the desk a bit later. What is this? But it is a one round for Lev. I mean, they had just enough time for the pivot. And I'll tell you what, King's ult is better than two easies. 
in that round. <laughs> That's still probably one of the most ambitious Omen TP plays I've seen. Trying to follow up on the stun, I think, from Kawan just thinking, oh, I mean, might That's as well. a crazy one. Yeah, I mean, just, uh, just uh, yeah. Dust you see an Omen TP down. right next to you, you don't shoot him because you're like, oh, it'll cancel. He sees four of us. Yeah. He'll cancel, right? He didn't. I well, just been on top of it. Haven't needed to see Aspas really just take over the game. Get out of my way. Flash to set it up. Double satchel play, so Tex can gain that space up into Ram. Spam the bullets, avoided and have just evaded. The updraft there. Interesting angle. The updraft doesn't connect there, not with the blade storm. Into the site now. Through the back of it. Offloading the Viper's pit. Seekers also used. Tex doesn't have a satchel, he thought he did. This pit is amazing to try to flood defend. Mazino's just stuck the plant. He's planted because it now, for heaven, so yeah. there's going to be a fight here over towards ramp. And they're going to rotate on each other, right? It's it's actually huge that QCK maintains some heaven control. So Stopper, though, sends it flying and caught me. was spotted earlier from the Seeker. Trade King, straight in her face, rolling thunder. Collide, collision course, two years, right from the back, though. And now they can try and gain that ground. Granted to them, no, not quite. They give up entirely. And Texas still maintaining it. Time ticking away. Pit going down. Sadak now with the defuse. He realized he has to get onto this one, but the pull. Mazzino from afar. He just pushes them off the defuse entirely. And Sadak trying to stick. Mazzino! It's all him, baby! Absolutely sublime! Loud had so much time pressure. And they fumble it at the end. Incredible moment from Mazzino there. If any single player had been able to shut him down, probably the defuse ends up coming through. And I think that Loud identified what was going on here quite nicely. They knew that Lev were going to be fighting over ramp, and instead of going with the pit through screens, they decided to deny heaven control entirely. But Mazzino doesn't go through heaven. He just chads his way through main, <laughs> rips off three heads, and puts Lev up to six. Here. Not a single rifle round has gone the way of Loud here. Nasty business. This Lev team are looking large and in charge. They want to take a victory. They've never had before against this Loud organization, but they are setting the stage. Loud are still going to be able to buy in this one thanks to their massive loss bonus. Silver linings. But it's a rain cloud hovering above the head of Sadak. They would have loved to get out the group cleanly. A reminder that this game, while it's not an elimination, is actually huge because of how tough this group is. Sentinels are waiting, just ready to play they're against either of these two teams. Oh yeah, you know they're watching. You're walking a tightrope, there's piranhas waiting right below you. You don't want to slip down to the lowers. A Sen team looks deadly, even though Loud yeah. have already dealt with them before. QCK is monitoring heaven. Double players anchoring from Loud. That adjustment to try to deal with King may end up helping them in this round too. Look how difficult it is for Loud to find any timing to use their util. Yeah, finally though, there's a connection with the stun as well and it messes up the movement that takes. A lot of util being used, a boatload of it. Towards the back of the map. Unless, yep, he's gonna get spammed down there. Aftershock, trying to push them back out of these positions. They haven't dealt the players anchoring to the site. The spike is down, there's only 13 seconds left here. This is a one round for Loud. It should be all in theory. There's really not enough time to work with. Off angle, QCK, crouch down and dodging and duking and just ducking out of danger. And one of the issues with Lev contacting all the way up through heaven is that they actually didn't realize that there was two players hard anchoring there. You know, that setup was almost luckily perfect to deal with what Lev went for. Cowan's seen unless in great positions to punish King if he went for the lurk, but also to punish a heaven to sight kind of hit. They just maintain that control over elbow and screens. How loud were able to mount a comeback after getting a only a few rounds in the first half of bind. They made it a game. There's three rounds. So how many do they need here? Loud's comp is gonna be powerful on the attack side. Oh, no. oh. At the same time, Lev have been completely in control so far. Once again, going for that contact play. I think you really need to be spamming the wall when it goes up like that. But Les is worried in case they burst onto him. At any point, this double duelist composition can go from contacting to exploding. Look at all the space. Meanwhile, Com is going to try to sell that it's on the other side of the map, I think. 
Ooh, that's what you need. Yeah, there's the spam. So if it drops down. Unless it's just found another two players. Left Order decide in. to engage. They're all the way in, but crouched. Into the corner, Karazine collects. Still here, still active, still in the fight, and snappy! The aim looking good here, loud. Look at what an adjustment having Karazine hard anchor has done. 30 seconds left. Oh, Loud have to be so confident to play against Lev when they have no information. But they're good for it when they're anchoring the sights. Yeah, call to save. Two remaining Lev players, and you're right. When they're anchoring in those positions, they're good for it. It actually makes such an enormous difference to the way that they're playing. Loud previously were Ten playing for left. information. They were trying to make up for the downsides of their con by hunting ramp and trying to see when Leviathan would, would fight. And now they've adjusted to basically saving all of their utility. They're like, right, okay, if you're going to contact around the map and not use any util, I guess we'll save ours, yeah. and we'll just meet you at the site. Now, King could push this another level further and start contacting into, like, spawn and that <laughs> kind of stuff, and really just take as much room as Loud are possibly giving them. Yeah. Wonderful timing from Les there with the orb being propped up. Just gives the extra cover for Kawazin. Four players from Loud over towards B, an Time absolutely my hard read that Lev were heading in that direction. It's not the case Tarkson's at all. I and mean, if Lev just decided to burst sight here, Loud have been put in a rough situation because of the gamble at the very start of the round. Yeah, they're going to have to play full retake. All the way off the site. Interesting to see how they might just play this one, refighting. Les has already got the space up into heaven. This Pretty crucial. Planning for heaven. Control here for Loud. Now they're going to seek to potentially refight now over towards Ram. Or it's a call made by Lev. It looked like they wanted to just maybe go for this. But now, straight through elbow. That's where the players are meeting. Stun. It's nice. Shotgun right in their faces. Sadak gains the upgrade. Les has to control heaven. Planted out into the open. Sadak's defusing. Order Eddie on half. And yeah, that heaven control needs to be maintained, but it's, it's just been lost instantaneously. <laughs> the defuse is just gone. It's just stuck. Yeah. And that's the thing. When Lev plant like Last this, they're trying to refight. Raised, but it should still be good. He knows that flash is coming. Plays anti. He's just looking to try to punish the first person around this corner. Poetically. It would often be us, boss. Calls made to cancel. Look how much space Sadak has taken, and he has a plumbing judge in B main. <laughs> He's a menace. This is where it gets really quite tricky. And Loud were doing this kind of thing pretty regularly in their previous match. They've got no util to really clear this one here for B main either. The timing is going to be crucial right now between Mazino and Sadak. Who has more discipline, but two E's is left alone. Lovely angle. Rogers though back towards the pillar. Pull at his feet. Sadak has got to hold his ground here. Stand tall and deliver. And there it is. Pellets to the chest. Mazina really just toppling down into hell. A bit of a team flash, but maybe can set them back up, pushing them back and away. That is the widest face I've seen, but lovely movement by King. Now we get to see whether those retakes are looking so clean over towards B. Three players available for it. QCK's got a rifle now and full utility on the breach. The control there is a reflank attempt by QCK while all this is happening and Tex is gonna be- Kawazin's looking for target. Kawazin, yeah, calm. All the time, no way. 180 adjustment there, fault line just lay it down, but there it is, flank timing occurred from the back here, calm. Doubled up with the rest of his team. This is rough time. Can they even do this one time? Remaining. Running short, less. Fabulous aim from the monster Sentinel player for Loud. Oh, Claw their way back to that 6-6 six, six half. And it was a little bit earlier prior, I was saying it was all left. You look at Leviathan's setup on the pistol. They have so many players in mid there. King is going to throw the orb at the start of the round and reposition over towards heaven. But they are expecting Loud to take mid control. Why is this stun line? It looks disgusting from Kawanzin. How many connections will he get onto the corner? No. They peek out. What a read. Lev more than ready for that one. 
Disengage two years. He's fast onto the approach, onto the line. A side angle here. Kawazin, though, removed. Wasn't so lucky. The spike's making its way over towards A. Listen, you thought the chaos was over. No, we're just getting started, apparently. It's on the other side of the map. Now, the players have been pulled. Lev calling for the re-clear. Down into mid, all together here. One player into spawn. I believe Mazino. What is this, DC? No, he's just holding. Baiting me. Yeah. I mean, he knows. He knows. And it's a sofa forwards kill. He sees it Spike and he claims it. Spike planted, two E's. Really is miles away. Yeah. Narnia reference. We got it out of the way in a half time, so can't make it again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but he, he's got the entire wardrobe on B. He is miles away. They rebound in two years. Got to get a move on. It. They're watching, watching for it. They just know. King! Mini map moment. Falling asleep. QCK. No one's watching. No one's watching. Pick and choose your timings wisely. QCK might have just done it. Bought time, time. Ticking. No kills collected. They could standing. not surely get away with this. Sheriff so picked up. It's not halved. Have to stick it. And come denied the defuse. Well, at least that was a nice clean round. How the hell have they got away with that? I have no idea. No idea. I mean, it, it, it all starts with King looking at the minimap and getting surprised by two E's on a flank he knew was coming. Bala was pissed as well, headed into the half. He was. Well, he's going that... to be watching this with his head in his hands, I think. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> because while it's a cool call from Loud to turn that failed B hit into a, a, into a fake, less being caught should absolutely signal the end. Leviathan are going to fight over B main at the start of the round just to get Tex another ult orb. Miles away from the ult though. Come Showstopper on. not going to be a threat for quite some time. In these scrappy moments, I feel like either of these teams can rely on such a wealth of experience. Regroup called by Loud. Everybody over towards A, but guess what? That's exactly where the stack is. That's a team flash on the two of them. Take that space, but eventually forwards is the move. Making waves now out towards heaven. Okay, Players not through here. a main just yet. Still grouped up from Lev. Now, that's not too much damage. Or at least potential damage here into the round from Lev's side. I mean, they don't have too much util to work with. Don't even have the guns, but plant online now for Kawazin. Heavy control still held on to. It's a very nice setup here for Loud. Yeah. Holding on to heaven. One person watching heaven. One person watching vents. Coverage of screens. All ready to play off each other. You can see it's going to be the same kind of thing where Loud are going to absolutely deny heaven control for the retakers. I don't even seek as well to collect a few of these kills if you do want to hunt them down. One enemy remaining. Eco players attempting exits. And they don't get away with it. So, economy flourishing for Loud should have a very, very healthy bonus round heading into the next. And should they, <laughs> I mean, should they even be on the bonus round? <laughs> the, the pistol going one way or the other has started some serious momentum. You know, pistol rounds are so important, but especially when you have a, an old cycle like this where Kawanzin and QCK are going to start to get up to big ones. It just matters so much. But Lev have to focus on the here and the now. Star laid down ahead of time here for Lev. Push back, maybe yeah. to be main control. Tex is the TP. That's the purpose of the nade with the pull on top of it. Good bait. Tui is just forcing out that little trap play from Leviathan. It's a nice idea. But Sadak's called the rotation. Over towards A. This is where Aspas lies in wait. No economy for an operator. But he's just as deadly with a rifle. Getting sneaky with it. Cutting the noise, and like you said, that's fast, deadly, with the rifle. And here we go, re-clearance of the Trailblazer, explosive, and denied! QCK, shut down, a bit of clay pigeon shooting occurring. Now calls being made if they want to try and refight this one up until heaven, but do they have the util for it? 50 seconds, time on their side. Could take a bit of a pause and a breather, but entirely in the way of left. In full control of heaven. Rifles just singing, bullets just being slung across. But they can't afford to give away a round like this. This was a 5v2, <sighs> and a massive advantage, and Aspas makes sure the less is shut down. There will be no chances for Loud to left. get back in. Spike's in the middle of nowhere, King. 
It's the info. And it is major that Lev win around like this. They're hoping at some point that their economy is going to be good enough to get Aspas onto an operator. That was one of the most iconic ways that Loud would previously play this map. Triple face towards the end. No chance that Leviathan are letting another round like the pistol slip away from them. A healthy one of that. Keeping the majority of their guns, yeah. Beautiful. Nasty shot at the beginning. Sets the tone, I think, nope. for the round. Enemy Absolutely. I do like this fight cool. that Les is using. They want both pistols and they only have 6 8. Yeah. I mean, that's a great point. It really is. They've got both pistols only up 8 to 7. Loud have not been struggling a little bit to be able to get rifle rounds on the board. They've had a streak of them towards the end of the first half. Clearance here. Aspas following up the trailblazer. Uh, two years. What a punish. Hell of a challenge. Flash, though. Safety as he tucks to the back. Look how bold he is. Main. Just re-wide swinging onto this angle. Not scared now that Aspas is dead. Ready to fight Gom. That That's... kill. Uh, the call's been made. That, I think, is a pretty hard read as well from Loud. They know that Aspas loves to get reset back up on aggressive angles over towards A with the dog. Anytime Com is going to use the Trailblazer over towards A, people are going to be looking for Aspas and trying to put him in his place. It's up to two here. Com and King to really put a stop and a stand to all of this, and they deliver. Oh, they deliver with interest. Time to get the reload off. TP. Dodging, trying to bait this one. Oh, you can't really dodge that one with the flash into the corner. King is really just collected, corralled, pushed back. Less as he opened this one up for them. Kawazin, two health, has to plan towards the corner. Cause made the refight. There wasn't a player ready, but Less is there eventually with the trade. One left standing into Mazzino. It's walking up and look at the awareness from Less. Certainly knows best. Mazzino. Forwards now. There's the one. Can't get it. A 4K for less. Stopping Leviathan in their tracks. Excellent trading from Les. Really incredible stuff. Just in the right place at the right time for his team. And Kawanzin's utility was also phenomenal. I mean, it helps to isolate King in the corner, but look how blind Com is. He's completely lost on sight. A good try by Mazzino, who's been hyper clutch in this game so far. But whenever Les has a match, he's gonna pull out rounds like that every now and then. Aspas on another deep off angle over towards mid. Again, you know that he's been set up by the rest of his team there. So Loud might try to take a timing and some more aggressive map control elsewhere. Balls of steel from Kawazin. The double face is called. Lev! They rip it away from them. You could see there that they weren't expecting the third player. Oh, 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 what a shot! Okay. That is filthy. Not the highest impact kill, but very flashy. Stylish. Tui's has his ultimate. So this round isn't over. They're in a 2v4 and the spike's down, but it doesn't really matter. If Tui's can find a kill... I mean, Sadak does not need to be fighting for this spike either. Grabs it. Yeah, but now God, there's no one nearby. Hard. Sadak is on the complete opposite side of the map. It uh, keeps going deeper. Tuyas doesn't even know if it's safe to plant. I don't understand what's cooking here, but something's on the pot. Potentially a kill. I mean... Now they know where Sadak is, though. They can just take the 3v1 against Tuyas on site. They're going to go the fast. Sorry. Tex has got his ult. Showstopper, if they choose to really use it and expend it, they can just seal this one up nice and pretty. Two years. Back against the wall quite literally now. It's going to be face down. Multitude of targets available, ready and waiting. But there it is. Spammable location towards the back of the map. And Sadak is late to the party. Defuse. Tex. Now just sticking it. Trusting his teammates entirely. It's going back and forth, back and forth. Big punish in B main from Leviathan that really decides the round. There was an interesting attempt there at the 2v4 towards the end, but this next rifle round should be one to savor. Unless 
Loud are able to make something happen with the shot. Oh, and my god, when Les is on the board with aim like that, anything is possible. And no way. He's just dunked on Com. Caution to the wind. Just all the way up ramp. Through mid. I just didn't see anything. There was no connection there, but King senses it and hears it and sees the jump spot. The Lev players are all quite spread out from one another, trying to play the full map. And that also means that Loud might be able to create situations where they overwhelm them one by one. It can be pretty dangerous to play spread like this. Especially when you've only got four people and no info to try to cover the map. Fortline Hell, showstopper. Attempt to try and claim this kill, and the claw is made to run refight over towards B main. King! What a timing! That is disgusting! Closer to Pillar, they'll eventually spot it out, but King has got this fight down, pit down on top of it. Needs to try and defend this. Seeking a target, there it is! On for the ace. Now listen, shouldn't have been that danger there, but seven bullets left in the chamber. Fired with the shots. He knows that Les is coming hunting. But walk into his territory if you dare. Here. Here. Time. Running so down below. The round left. isn't even a possibility. What a play from King. <laughs> <laughs> the only question is who's oh, going to go. Wait, wait, wait. Time. Oh. Oh. There should have been no danger in that. that. Dodgy. There should have that been absolutely dodgy. no danger whatsoever. You are kidding me. <laughs> we, were calling, we were calling the round and we were like, oh, well, where's the ace? Where's the ace? Mate. I mean. He almost got all of them. Yeah. If Asmus didn't have the presence of mind to just get the hell out of there, he might just toss the round. That play, though, by King is excellent because things did look dangerous for Leviathan. But as soon as the breach shot was used, he took the timing to swing through the smoke, caught Cowan Zin with his util out in his hands, and picked up two. Really important. We're already into the round here. Familiar scenes. The ram takes the trailblazer. Feeling like there could be players right behind this. I'm actually surprised that Lev didn't try to blast pack and showstopper Sadak there. Anytime that Tex has Razolt online and Sadak's inside his dog, that is a serious possibility. Ram target. Seeker's being used now. This is at the minute really mark. early. Yeah, really early. Just looking to try and re-clear as well, spot where these players might be. Now, most of the Seekers went into mid, so they know there's only really one player less being pressured heavily. Got to back away. But a call of the cancel by Loud. Look at all the players regrouping now. Reassess the situation. And now it's Sadak's time to play around with the util and the ult that he might have. Seekers popping down a timing here, King. Side by side, shoulder to shoulder! No way. Sadak won it! There's no way! Get out of here! 40 seconds left. Cut close here, Tex to the corner, traded instantly, Fight less hot on his heels, that is sharpness on display. The sight is theirs, not going to be able to plant this one for heaven, TP in close, three left. players really just playing, his post plant positioning is not ideal, but it's not the pit to play around. And Sadak's going to be late to try to clean up this round. We saw danger inside the pit previously. A judge, Mazzino's got a judge, walking straight into them. And he's found the crucial target. Less brought down and so does the pit. All the cover removed, the two players left standing. Backs against the wall, removed and dropped. Two years there. Last and it's that flank timing of Sadak coming in clutch. Holds it, down towards me in the jiggle spot, seeing that Aspas has dropped down. Aspas, ah! what? Unbelievable. Gira Aspas is spinning around, spray transferring into main. <laughs> what a moment for Aspas to come alive with the clutch. I'm speechless at that. He hasn't really had those outrageous rounds against his former team yet. But he might just push this over the line. Oh my God. He set his team up to be favored perhaps here for a 2-0 victory. <laughs> Lev are on the anti-eco. Certified Aspas moment, well. Shut down that attempt. The weaker guns allowed. Not getting the job done. Someone to the side, showstopper. 
claims that the target claims the mark. Hello, still the danger there. Boom bot from the side. King, in the midst of all of it, pandemonium, he strikes fast and hard there, taking control back towards heaven. One minute, 10 on the clock. How was he? He tapped his way deep, yeah, tap. Looking to see if he could force a reaction out from Leviathan and equalize this player disadvantage. Anytime Les has a rifle, it is possible for Loud. Risks have to be taken. Less though, not pressing the advantage, not pushing deep forwards. Inside the smoke now playing this one. They give space for the rest of his team for Lev. Try and get themselves in through the main area. Knives. Popped off by Aspas! Mazzino, almost there with the timing. Over the top, top. Okay, Stinger, dashing in. The knife's going to miss. It's only got the operator in his hands. Less and Kawazin. Dynamic is the duo, and they brought it 10 to 10. The eco win rate is through the roof this year. It's outrageous. Loud have just flipped the economy on its head. Tossed the table, spilt the coins. Down. Cowan seen with a stinger. Less coming out with aim. Uh, that is. Less and Sadhak in back to back rounds basically have been caught red handed inside these kind of smoke situations and yet still have come out on top. And Less in particular, 21 for 10. Cool being made by Loud. I mean, it feels like they're not even going towards mid B. They don't care. They say sod it straight towards the A side now. And away we go. Double Satra, QCK, good clearance of the util. Doesn't have to worry about elbow, not with the aftershock, a little bit delayed. Now the plan coming through, but guess what? No control of heaven here for Loud. This post going to be played with three, tucked towards the site again. Really, really deep positions of the main players. Might be key. Against the eco that Lev have been knocked down to, there shouldn't be that danger. And look at Lev, I mean, they're not even trying. Not even trying for it. I mean, they, they specifically do not want to give ults for loud. Because look, we've got a rifle round coming up. And what have Lev got to work with? I mean, basically nothing. The Cosmic Divide is fairly good to be able to retake potentially. But if loud start getting up to Seekers or, you know, worst case scenario, if Kawanzin just mopped everybody up Snowball. and got a reach ult, yeah. Lev have to take the safe approach here. And my word, I towards mid. But to be honest, it doesn't look like Louder Path in there at all. They've got a stun and a flash ready to take ramp. Just to gain control of it though. Not going for the blast pack. Instead, just fighting this with the Viper. Now you've got to be a bit worried here because a Trailblazer can clear you out. It looks like that's what Com's going for. Will need to be broken. And is immediately. Played by Nave Flash as well. Com does he choose to take a peek of it? He's got two players just waiting for him. TP from two E's. Two E's was trying to react into B because they realized the Lev was stacked over towards A. Would have been absurd to stick it, but to be honest, it's too easy. He did that earlier on, <laughs> so I wasn't sure. Now they walk back right into Aspas. No one to deal with the dog. Gonna have this dash active, but it's gonna be clearing him out. Has to reveal himself. Op online is there. Everybody getting out. There. The line of side area here. Going for the B split now. That's all out here. Two players to mid, two players to B main. They're gonna make it feel like it's a split towards A at the start here. And this has it's been an extra back. reason. Oh yeah, they're turning it actually into an A split. Towns in the two, he's pulling all the way back. This is Where into Aspas. Aspas has gone, exactly. He's here, the call left. is made. Everybody giving up that space because they know that they've given up towards heaven. 25 seconds left. Do you dare push this through? Satchel, stun, it's all connected, but Com still ready and waiting. In through the back, lovely dodge of this one, and they have slowed this to a crawl. Now the tap, not quite. Yes, still trying to bait it out. Still, the smoke's there. Kawazin does well to just at least push that back. Dealing with Com. seconds left. Thorn in their sides. Spike Finally, this planted. post plant can get online. Justice they got so much more to down. deal with here. And Aspas wasn't really able to help because he was opping. It's still going to be difficult for him to find value. Play at his advantage. Cosmic Divide. Can they really seek to try and take this fight forwards? What is the call to be made? If you go all into this one, you're going to have no economy for the next. It's going to be entirely reset. It's such a difficult task, but they want to go for it now. Moving forwards, fault line, slowing them down. Rifles picked up. Out so wide, late. time running down. So damn low, King. An opening, still the wall in the face. King sticking his halfway all the way, but now shut down. It's loud up to 12. 
the neutralization of Aspras Operator was perfect there for Loud in that round. Even though they ended up going into him, the pathing never gave Aspas any opportunity, and he couldn't try to flood in to help Com. In fact, he threw a Cloud Burst that, to be honest, might have even stopped Com from getting a kill in that spot. And as you said, this is now going to be devastating for Leviathan's economy. They don't have the op to be able to work with, but more than that, King is now going to be forced onto a lower buy with only a Judge. Mazzino with a Stinger. I mean, take a look at this. The cards are stacked in Loud's favor to push us to ascent. No feigning from Loud this time again. Familiar is the approach. Satchel's into the back, plant out immediately. They're not worried about the anchoring players. I've got your trail. Well, containment has to be played by Lev. The double flank is coming through from both of the duelists. So Sadak is going to have to hold on to that. It's going to take a long time, though, for Lev to get set up. And Kawanzin has a breach halt. Even in the best case scenario, this is going to be tight on the clock for Lev. Have to play so damn fast and lose. Breach shot rolling thunder. Used very early. Maybe a blessing in disguise. Smokes dropped. Paranoia on top of it. Sadak, that caught onto him. And he doesn't have a clue. Tex is there to contain. Players drop down. Through and corners into the side here. Into hell is two years. Shorty, jump through. Connections all about. This is loud. Up to 13. It's inevitable. And there it is.